A huge debate erupting over Mozilla CEO Brendan Eich resigning after it was revealed that six years ago he contributed to a group that opposed same sex marriage. Now, this is what one liberal columnist and gay activist said about it. You don't want to bring this kind of political warfare into the workplace. We've got to be able to get along with people we sincerely, passionately disagree with. So, Sabrina, how much and, and specifically in what way should a person's private life and views outside the office affect his role inside the office? I agree with Sullivan. I don't think that it should affect it. I think that, that Ike seemed to have a lot to bring to the table from a business perspective. Look, he was one of the authors of JavaScript, which in effect drives the Internet. He's been with the company for years, all the way back when it, those of us who remember Netscape, um, it was Netscape. Um, so I think that there's a lot that he clearly had to, to offer. And look, you know, I can't stand things that Sheryl Sandberg says about the wage gap, but I still sign into Facebook every day. The fact is a leader of a company is just simply not going to uh, fit a certain mold of every one of their followers. Yeah, and, and Bruce, we should mention, of course, that, that Mr. Ike was saying something which at the same time the president was saying about gay marriage. Yeah, that's true, David. I think one of the lessons here is that maybe he didn't know he was going to become a CEO. When you become a CEO, you're a public figure, and so you then are subject to uh, these type of things and so forth. You become a public figure and people look at your donations. Another thing is, I don't really understand, how, this is just my personal view on this, why and how, you know, whether a man marries a man or a woman marries a woman affects his daily life and a thousand dollars seems like a, a, a bet that, you know, to put down, it looks like he's on the wrong side of history anyway with the way yeah. the courts are all ruling and it's a lot, okay, of, time, a lot of things have happened since that time. EMAC, this is not now, uh, maybe it could be, but we're not going to make it a debate about gay marriage. It's a debate about freedom of speech. Yeah. And Barry Diller, by the way, a businessman, Barry Diller, very powerful businessman who is a supporter of gay marriage, said this, I think it's more than unfortunate that private political action is no one's business and to make it a public issue is wrong. Yeah, you know, that's interesting. And Barry Diller makes an important point. It's someone's personal opinion. Let's say you're not going to change hearts and minds by bullying people into agreeing with your opinion. By the way, the anti-gay attacks have been abusive and just downright awful and wrong. They've been, gay people have been vilified and that has got to stop. But the point here is that it, I would not want to work at a job, no one would want to work at a job where somebody is being bullied into agreeing with someone else's personal opinion. Mike, the fact is what Andrew Sullivan said, it's best to work in an environment in which you can get along with people that you disagree with politically or, or religiously or whatever. Of course, David, but the guy who made this an issue is Ike. The board didn't want him out. The employees didn't want him out. I don't even think he really wanted the job. I mean, if he did, he would have shown some backbone. He had the support of the company. He had the support of his yeah, workers. No. He backed out. Okay. He I, I'm, not, so, I'm not absolutely sure of that. There's, a, there's some evidence to the contrary that he was, he was forced to resign. But, but what I want to focus on here again, Sabrina, is the fact that people, should people in any way be forced to conform to politically correct standards? Because those standards very often change. Right, and I think it's the politically correct part that is upsetting. Even if everyone on this panel agrees that gay marriage is something that is going to move forward in this country, the reality is that this is sort of a faux diversity, right? Diversity can't come at only in certain shapes, sizes, and colors, right? The fact is he has his opinion. He has a right to express his opinion. And, and if they didn't want him as CEO, then they didn't have to choose him. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that he should be maligned if he's a good business but who leader. At the, who at I mean, the that's company said he didn't have about. that right? Who at the company said he didn't have that well, right. Again, let's let's not get into Nobody. that detail because the fact is is that there are people that that are are subjected to abuse within the office place for their beliefs. And Bruce, I'm just wondering where you draw the line. Well, I mean, it's a complicated case. I mean, certainly he, if he had to make this decision today, a lot of things have changed. Maybe he didn't know he was going to be a, a CEO, but I'm going to come back to the whole thing is if you're a CEO, it's like I know a lot of people in sales. They say when you're in sales, don't bring up religion and don't bring up politics. Right. And so in this so should, situation, should a CEO he made a thousand dollar bet. Republican or a Democrat, Bruce? No, I'm not, say, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that you know, there are certain positions where yeah. people don't want to talk but EMAC, about politics the fact is, and they is don't want to hear about Hold on, Sabrina. Our society has become so yeah. political yeah, that even, say, say, for example, a Tea yeah. Party. Say somebody gives money to the Tea Party, a, a perfectly legitimate Tea Party organization. Nancy Pelosi and others say it's the equivalent of the KKK. <laughs> that is so wrong.
for God's sakes, we got to stop with that emotional, overheated, yeah. idiotic rhetoric coming out of our politicians. That's so wrong. Uh, the thing is, it's, the danger is pushing some or, or pressuring someone to get out of their job because you don't agree with them. Again, the anti-K attacks are wrong, but we got to watch it here. All right, gang, that's got to be the last word. Coming up, Donald Trump and Senator Rand Paul pushing plans today to make America great again. Don't miss them on a special edition of Cash In coming up. But first, right here, call it out of this world, government waits. NASA's smart enough to put a man on the moon, so why is the government spending <laughs> billions teaching NASA to lobby the government?